Hey everyone, it's Ivan with Kibadger.com here today to take a little look at flash mitigation and kind of signature reduction while shooting at night. Depending on your actual application of carbines, for example, it may or may not matter if there's a big flash at night, that signature, i.e. you break around, you have a muzzle brake on there, and like flames are coming out of the side of this thing. It might not matter and honestly for most people it probably doesn't but if you intend on using your rifle in the capacity where other people may be trying to engage you then that actually becomes really important because the difference between shots coming from somewhere over there or a huge muzzle flash coming from right there that's huge in a two-way engagement so that can be very important to that end, in the 2020 night vision course, three-day course with AMTAC shooting that I went to, amazing course, one of the things we ended up doing while everyone was down there is basically went through and everyone said, hey, this is what I'm shooting. I either have this type of muzzle device or this type of suppressor on here. I'm shooting this ammo and broke a number of rounds into the berm. So granted, this next footage, it's gonna be dark but it's supposed to be dark, and here's what we had at that course. All right, so eight and a half inch barrel, Shurka, Surefire, Socom, Mini 5.56, and Arms Core 55 grain. Okay, next. Uh, 16 inch M4 2000 AAC can, PMC 55 grain. Next. So a uh, 16 inch um, Surefire can. Sorry, come this way a tiny bit for me. Okay. You're good. It's Surefire can, uh, 55 grain PMC. And that's a piston gun right there. Yep. Okay. Consistent ejection, I caught it all. Next. Uh, come right all the way up to that. Top. All right. Yeah. Go ahead. 16 inch barrel, Hornady Frontier 5.56, 55 grain, 16 inch barrel. And the muzzle device? Uh, Surefire brake. Okay. Right in front of me. Okay. Also a piston gun. Yes. Okay. Next. Guys, just to note if it's a piston gun or not as well. Also. <coughs> okay. Square up on that box, piston. put that in the middle of your feet. There you go. Uh, piston gun, 16 inch barrel, dead air salmon S suppressor, shooting uh, 55 grain XM193. Good. Next. Uh, piston gun, 11 and a half inch, 556, five, a Griffin taper, middleless flash hider, Shift right and a tiny bit. 62 Sorry. grain green tip. Shift Scott, right, shift bit. right, one step. There you go. There you go. Next. Not a piston gun, 16 inch barrel. Step one, step four. Surefire flash hider, 55 grain Winchester. Mm -hmm. Good. Next. Okay, go ahead. Got, uh, DD Wave Suppressor, 300 AC Blackout, 200 grain s and 10.3 inch barrel, gas. <laughs> There's two. Okay, five more? Yep. Nothing. That's awesome. That's Thank quiet you. as hell too. Don't leave it. Oh. So, no, sorry, man. That's five dollars. Yeah. Five dollars. Mag. <laughs> we got it. Here's your mag. Thanks, buddy. Yep. Twelve and a half inch DI gun. Uh, Magtech 60 grain non-steel core and a Griffin Recce five. The first one a little bit, and then nothing after that. <laughs> So 11 and a half inch uh, Amtec Centurion gun with a Surefire three prong 
and Black Hills 62 grain RL feet. Uh, <laughs> high point carbine with a uh, prototype Q Erector 9mm silencer shooting 147 grain subsonic loaded by T9 bullets. <laughs> There's more flame coming out of the ejection port than there yeah, is anywhere else. Right? <laughs> yeah, awesome. As you can see, there's definitely a variation between muzzle devices, suppressors, things along those lines. And another really big factor that a lot of people don't take into consideration is ammunition. By way of example, some ammunitions are loaded with like, essentially like a low flash powder. So rather than having this massive flame, they'll still have a flame depending on like all things being equal there will still be a flash but it'll be less than some like for example if you shoot ever shoot like bimetal like wolf or tula things like that where the projectile is coated with i don't know some sort of metal something right like those things spark like crazy and also probably because of the powder too giant flash so ammunition can definitely play a big role but that right there definitely shows kind of spectrum across a number of different guns ammos and muzzle devices or suppressors. As opportunities arise, I will try and gather more content like that. Personally, I think it's interesting and I think it can be valuable, again, depending on your actual application. But if you appreciate my content and want to support it, greatly appreciate it. Whether it's just liking and sharing videos or going over to kitbadger.com, picking up KBAT target pads, stickers, things like that, or picking up t-shirts through Teespring or Ballistic Inc. And lastly, if you want to support me directly through Patreon, greatly appreciate all of those things. Helps me go out, create more content for you. But as always, thanks for joining us at kitbadger.com. Look forward to seeing you next time.